Uh, good morning. Thank you all for coming out. It's tough weather we're having here. Um, I ask you all to come here so I can report on the fact that we made an arrest and the Jada Dane homicide. The incident itself took place on January 4th at about 9.50 p.m. at 410 Boyden Street, which is where Mrs. Uh, Ms. Dane resided. Uh, on that particular day, Monday, January the 4th, office, our officers respond, responded to 410 Boyden Street regarding a status check of a, pers of a person. And this was the complaint that was called in to us. And when we arrived at the scene, the officers had to gain forced entry into the, into the apartment because all of the exterior doors were locked. Once inside the apartment, they located our victim, Ms. Jada Dane, who was deceased. It was apparent to them, the officers at that point, that Ms. Dane had, had been stabbed, but not knowing whether that was the cause of death or not. In the days to follow, between January 4th and, and uh, yesterday, the Syracuse Police Department Criminal Investigation Division detectives conducted a, uh, a very thorough investigation, and I, I might add that this, this investigation is still active and ongoing. They conducted a thorough investigation during the course of which they interviewed numerous witnesses, did an extensive canvas of the surrounding uh, neighborhood, our uh, crime scene unit secured several item, items that uh, we suspected contained physical evidence that may uh, lead us to uh, the identification and, and ultimately the arrest in this investigation. And from all of these items and, and the help of the uh, Forensic Science Center, we were able to to identify a suspect in this case, and the suspect in question is a Farad Mosley. Farad, I will spell his first name, F-A-R-O-D, last name is M-O-S-L-E-Y. He's 17 years of age, and he resides in the city of Syracuse. Through our investigation, we were able to identify Farad as the suspect, and on January 19th, Farad Mosley was arrested and charged with um, murder in the second degree. He's currently lodged in the Onondaga County Justice Center. He was in the Justice Center when we charged him on unrelated charges. Uh, in anticipation of some of your questions, Mr. Mosley has prior arrest for uh, weapons possession, reckless endangerment, harassment, and a probation violation. What are your <laughs>